The Local Boost Dashboard is where you can manage your Local Boost campaigns. Your dashboard will open with your active Local Boost campaigns. Clicking the Active Toggle button will toggle to your archived Local Boosts, and clicking this button again will toggle back to your Active Boosts. Clicking the New Local Boost button will display the Local Boost creation page. Here, you can give your Local Boost a title and create your Local Boost. Your Local Boost Click Credit Total will display here under the New Boost button, with a link to a modal to purchase more. The number of matches shows the number of local boosts in your dashboard view, showing five boosts at a time. You can browse your boosts with the next and previous buttons. The title represents the name you gave your local boost campaign. The start and end dates are when your campaign will run. End dates can be left open for ongoing campaigns. Your bid amount is the amount your campaign is set to bid per click. This is editable here on the dashboard by clicking the pencil icon to edit your bid amount. Clicking the number of impressions button will display a modal with the visitor data collected. These are companies that viewed your local boost with page ranking and B2B viewing company data. Clicking the number of clicks button number will display a modal with the clicked data collected for your local boost with page ranking and B2B viewing company data combined. The cost is the total cost of your local boost campaign. The status is the current status your local boost is in. The click credits is an indicator that your local boost is running on click credits versus your bid click. You can pause, archive, or play your local boost from the action section of your dashboard. Clicking your local boost title will display your local boost edit page. This is the same page you'll use to create your local boost. Clicking the Manage Boosts button will return you to your local boost dashboard. You can edit your boost title by clicking the pencil icon next to your title and updating from there. Each local boost consists of an image and simple tagline. Just choose the image you'll like displayed and then click the Upload Image button. You'll see your image appear in the Boost Preview section to the right of the screen. The website link is the location will direct companies that click on your Boost. You'll be able to set your campaign dates here, and your campaign will run between those dates only. The Filters section is where you can set the website Visitor Filters, narrowing down who will see your local Boost. Clicking the Industry button will allow you to choose the types of companies that you want to display your local boost to. Choose as many options as you like, and the system will display in front of each type. Clicking the Time Zones, States, and Zip Code Radius buttons will allow filtering of the locations of the website visitors. The filters can be as narrow or expansive as you like. At the bottom of the page, you'll have an option to click the Apply Click Credit button telling the platform that your local Boost campaign will be charged through your Click Credit account. Please note, we give priority page placement to bulk click campaigns before bid amount campaigns. You can check the box to keep your campaign running if your Click Credits run out. If this is the case, the system will go by your bid amount for page placement. You can enter any bid you like for your per click price, and the system will give you a recommended bid price per your campaign filters. The Summary section to the right will display a view of your local boost with the local boost summary beneath. Creating a new local boost will require approval by the Teaming Crow staff, and if corrections are needed before launching your boost, our staff will give guidance on any updates needed in order to approve your boost. You can edit your boost bid price, dates, filters, and bulk click payment option without reapproval. Editing your boost image, website, or call to action will trigger a reapproval by the Teaming Pro staff. Your local boost is displayed on Teaming Pro AutoConnect pages with a boost section located to the right of each AutoConnect page. Your boost will display to companies matching your filters as they click into their AutoConnect job pages. Thanks for watching.